Okay, putting up tresses by yourself, part four, the simple explanation, or something like that. Um, so I'm on to uh, some of the last, uh, or the, the seventh and eighth out of ten trusses. So I'm, I'm learning and uh, figuring stuff out. And one thing I've started to do is instead of screwing them together, I'm clamping them together. You can see those clamps that I have all along there. Uh, so that's one different thing. And... Uh, anyway, I'm, uh, one thing, oh yeah, one, one important thing is, you know, you have to, when you're flipping it, obviously it has to have enough clearance to come here, so I have to flip the lever that way, and, uh, it has to be at least four feet this way, um, you know, and you have to have all these, these floorboards that I have up there out of the way, uh, I ran into problems with that yesterday, uh, flipping it and hitting these floorboards that were extended a little too far, and you have to have a couple of purlin boards, uh, ready to uh, nail into up there. And basically, after you get it flipped, I just nail in a ter temporary 2x4 uh, two or 2x2 two two or whatever across from from uh, the far truss and then pull the, the middle truss inward uh, with another board. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to video this really quick now. Tripod to secure it in place. Okay, my camera cut out, but the, you got the point. You see the important part. Uh, but yeah, the, there's uh, the tripod to secure it. Uh, you know, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm repeating myself a whole bunch, but uh, make sure you only try this with two trusses, either screwed or clamped together, because if you try it with one, it might just snap in half. Um, okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Okay, one more thing. Here's the uh, next step. Is I've got a ladder uh, set up, uh, you know, against the built part of the roof, and I nailed two boards to this uh, secured uh, truss, and one nail is in the the further truss and one is in the closer truss so that now I can uh, move, I can unclamp them and they're both secured independently and I can take off the tripod and the lever board and they're both secured to this and then I can uh, move them independently and I'll move the inner one in first and get it secured to these purlins and then I'll move the, the outer one out with using these boards. So, okay, that's it. That's how I do it. Okay, okay, I know this is getting ridiculous. I talk way too much, but I'm, I almost forgot to show you this really important, awesome tool that makes this whole job way easier. Um, it's just three of these dealies right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but basically it's the it fits on the truss like that, and that's how you get your your spacing. So you cut out three identical pieces, like like this, um, you know, and put one one on this end on this wall. Put one at the top, and put one on the other end. You can see the one on the other end. Um, you can kind of see the one at the top, and that's how you get your spacing. Uh, really easily with just one person. Um, so that little simple jig, you know, takes uh, all of two minutes to make, and it really makes your life a lot easier if you're doing it this way. Probably makes your life a lot easier even if you're doing it with two people. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, make sure you got your clearances if you're trying this. Make sure you, you know, tie two of them together. Um, yep. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.